Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky revealed the inability of his forces to start a counter-attack in eastern Ukraine due to an acute shortage of weapons and ammunition, indicating that his country is still awaiting more military support from Western partners. These are the first statements after an inspection trip made by Zelensky to the eastern battlefronts in Bakhmut and the southern ones in Kyrgyzstan, which threatens to postpone Ukraine's expected spring offensive, which the Ukrainian president had previously vowed. We can't yet start the counterattack with our US tanks, artillery and rocket launches. We cannot send our brave soldiers to the front lines. While Russia is betting on the delay and arrival of weapons to Ukraine to achieve greater progress on the ground, the Chinese peace plan, which was the focus of discussion between the Chinese and Russian presidents in Moscow, raises controversy. For his part, Josep Borrell, the European Union's foreign policy commissioner, considered it insufficient to end the conflict. Although the Chinese peace plan is not enough to end the conflict in Ukraine, it cannot be considered pro-Russian. It is important that Xi Jinping's visit to Moscow reduces the risk of a nuclear war. And for their part, the Chinese representatives made this very clear. On the ground, Russian forces are tightening their grip on the Ukrainians inside the city of Bakhmut in the north and continue their attacks on the city of Adivka, where they were able to fully control the town of Kaminka, northeast of the city of Adivka, which is the last stronghold that was partially under the control of the Ukrainian forces in the northeastern part of the city.